Welcome, I am The Colonialist and let me introduce my project, Lazius Noir, a study of pleomatrosis versus single founding in Lazius Niger colonies. Following basic scientific principles, I plan to do my first major ant experiment in the aim of bringing advances to our knowledge and methods used when founding this species, Lazius Niger. I found myself inspired by friend and fellow content creator, Ants Holofer. I was intrigued by his experiments with Lazius Niger. Moving on from his experiment, looking at his data and having read some interesting research papers, I intend to start my own project and experiment using Lazius Niger colonies. Some of you may find yourself asking, what is pleometrosis? Pleometrosis is where queens will co-found a colony but in the end, only one queen will remain alive. It is this method of founding that has inspired the name Project Lazius Noir. Noir is a genre of crime film or fiction characterised by cynicism, fatalism and moral ambiguity. I'm intrigued to see the reactions from the community. I expect there to be mixed feelings about this type of experiment due to the nature of how the founding occurs. I assure you that I have spent much time going over ResearchGate papers to support, defend and not only that but maintain the integrity of this experiment. Published on the 11th of August 2020, colony co-founding in ants is an active process by Queens, authors Sergei Aron and Jean-Louis Donneber. I found this article on ResearchGate, article number 13539, quote, in about 18-25% to 25 of cases, groups of 2-5 to five unrelated queens co-found colonies. However, after the first workers emerge, queens start fighting with each other. Ultimately, only one queen survives, and she alone benefits from the colony's future reproductive success." End quote. To understand the motive behind this experiment, you must first understand the success rate of colonies during the founding stages. Losses are high. Queens die through the founding stage for many reasons. This experiment seeks to understand the comparison of success to loss between co-founding and single founding colonies of Lazius Niger. To balance the results, we need to extend the data past their first hibernation period. This is to see if co-founding offers any additional resilience to surviving this first major test for a founding colony. I hope that most of you will follow this experiment with a curious and open mind. There is no doubt throughout the process, and in fact the entire reason this species plays such a massive numbers game in their survival is due to fatalities being high. Survival is slim, nature is brutal as it is beautiful, ants do not possess human sentiments, it's all for the greater good, not for the individual. The next paper I'm due to reference is Fecundity Determines the Outcome of Founding Queen Associations in Ants. Authors Eva Maria Tegas, Falk Degener, and Romain Librecht from the Institute of Organismic and Molecular Evolution from Johannes Gutenberg, the University of Mainz in Germany. The meaning of fecundity, the ability to produce an abundance of offspring or new growth relating to fertility. The short title of this research paper is Benefits and Factors of Pleometrosis. This experiment was carried out in Germany in 2017. I hadn't yet come across this paper when I had already formed the basis for my experiment and I was shocked at how similar our ideas and deliveries are for the experiments. They first collected a cohort of 45 queens selecting 15 queens to be single founding colonies, then 15 pairs of queens, that's two queens in one colony, and the experiment was recorded over 53 days. Another much earlier research gate paper published on the 13th of October 2017, co-founding ant queens prevent disease by performing prophylactic undertaking behaviour, authors Christopher D. Pull and Sylvia Kremer. This paper seems to suggest that co-founding queens have a higher immunity to disease and are less stressed. The results of this experiment could rock the ideals of the ant-keeping community. 
it does go against all current understanding and founding advice for this species. But to get the data, we must first conduct the experiment. This will prove or disprove this thesis. Let's take a look at how the experiment has been planned to be conducted. This year's nuptial flight in 2021, I plan to capture a cohort of 30 queens. Five of these colonies will be three queen founding Lazius Niger colonies. 15 of these colonies will be one queen founding Lazius Niger colonies. The experiment will start the day of capture and the results will be calculated two months after hibernation next year in May 2022. The environment will be controlled. The colonies will be housed in 20 Wakushi Mini Venus nests and they'll be inside an ExoTerra incubator which will provide a completely controlled environment. They will be fed on a diet of sugars and liquidated millworms following the diet plan provided by Cutter H and R Stumper during the Lazius Niger experiment in 1969, which recorded a Lazius Niger queen living to be the longest recorded adult life of any insect at 28 and three quarter years in captivity. It's well worth taking your time to read these research papers and you'll soon find the project is not unfounded. You can find a lot of data to support my thesis. It is my hope in the long term to find methods for the captive ant keeper to lower the chances of losing their colony over the founding stage. Could keeping a single queen actually be doing more harm than good? Does this require, in a manner of speaking, sacrifice for success? Does the ultimate benefits of co-founding outweigh the advised single queen traditional method of founding? How dramatically are their survival rates affected between each method? These are just some of the questions I'm seeking to answer in this experiment. I've wrestled with my conscience and deliberated over the ethics of running this experiment. And personally, I've come to the conclusion that this experiment is ethical. I am only replicating a natural way of forming a colony that this species happens to exhibit. It is a process that they go through in the wild. And all I am doing within this experiment is replicating that to understand the results and what effects that has on the colony and how they found. My test group is relatively small. It only affects 15 queens. 15 queens will be in threes and the other 15 queens will be single founding queens. I will use the data produced by the single founding queens to counteract or balance the data produced by the queens founding in threes. I decided to found the queens in threes simply because it felt to me the happy medium between the calculated numbers provided of colonies founding between two to five queens. Three felt like a trifecta and a balance where there wouldn't be such a domination of power as three queens would balance out whereas two queens, one queen could bully the other one and that could possibly affect the results. It'll be interesting to see how this works out and in future if I run a similar experiment I may change how the queens are paired or numbered together. If you got the time drop down into the comments let me know whether you are for or against this experiment and why. I'd like to hear some of your criticisms and also your support as to what you think we could benefit from this experiment. I would like to state that although I don't have any formal qualifications in the sciences, everything that I'm learning I'm self-taught and I hope that I'm able to do justice to the scientific community and be able to relay this experiment the same way they would through their training and education. I'm not conducting this experiment out of any malice or for entertainment purposes. In fact, I hope that it can further all our understanding into this species and how they found and how the results will be calculated at the end. I personally believe that it's going to be quite an interesting and intricate journey to take. Subscribing to my channel and sharing my content is more than enough. But if you want to show your support even further for the content that I'm creating, perhaps check out my Patreon page 
where membership is from as little as £2.50 per month and the money will go on supporting the colonies, growing the channel and developing new content for you. I will show you exactly how and where I'm spending that money. You'll also be entered into exclusive competitions and special prizes. But please don't feel you have to do this or you're obligated to become a colony member. You're all legendary no matter what type of support you provide this channel and myself. Don't forget to check out the blog site www.thecolonialist.co.uk All links or anything mentioned in this video can be found in the description below so make sure you check that out, click about and you'll be able to find some fantastic information. This is it for me now guys, until the next episode I'll catch you soon, let me know what you think about the experiment and the project and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.